Company Clean Strike here, just to share with you real quick. Um, make sure you check out the new Full Cry magazine. If you like these videos and if you like my content, um, I'm now a writer for Full Cry, and many of you have already heard of Full Cry, but it's a great magazine. So I encourage you to check that out. Go to www.fullcrymag.com and get your subscription today. How are you, buddy? So good. Oh, 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 Hey everybody, hope you had a great Thanksgiving and got to spend some time with some family and friends. I'm just out here now in the kennel getting the wood stove fired up. It's cooled down quite a bit since the last time I've been on here. We had a great fall. It's been one of the warmer falls that I can remember. It was really hot and dry, honestly. But this last week or so, it's really cooled off a lot. Um, at night, it's getting down into the teens. It's pretty windy right now. We got about an inch of snow. But here in the kennel, it's about 65 degrees right now. Got this wood stove. Dogs are well taken care of. They're warm and they're actually doing pretty good. And that's kind of what tonight's video is gonna be about, is gonna be about one of these pups I'm hunting. And this Walker pup is owned by Randy Smith. His name is Lone Pine Falls Prophet, and you've already seen a lot of him on my Facebook and other social media pages. He's a really special young hound. By the time you watch this video, he'll be right at nine months old. And he's been running his tree in his own coon now for a couple months. He's been looking really good with me. I just wanna thank Randy Smith for the opportunity to hunt this dog. And a lot of you ask how this dog is bred, and I know this question is gonna get brought up, so that's just where we're gonna start right now, is kind of talk about how this dog's bred because he's actually out of two world champion dogs. He's out of Lone Pine Biffy Sue, which is a world champion female owned by Randy Smith and out of world champion Frogger, which is owned by Virgil Davis. This is Lone Pine Biffy Sue, uh, 2016 UKC world champion, uh, 2015 reserve ACHA world champion. She uh, placed at Walker Days one time. She was a, before she won the world hunt, she was locally she was like a local legend before that. I mean, everybody knew her, and she was. She's been a great, great dog her whole life. She's going on 12 years old now. Still, hardly has a gray hair in her head. We've had a hard time getting pups out of her, but we, we've got, we have four females that we're gonna that we'll be able to move on from her. We have um, Bertha, we have Jillian, and Heifer and Hud. And the Heifer and Hud are the two youngest out of uh, Lone Pine Bank that we had, it's just brother to Lone Pine Lady, and she, the other two are out of Louie and Bone Collector. The first time I bred her, bred her to Bone Collector, and she had one female, so. But she's been good to us, and she'll still tree you coon. Just about any time probably you want to turn her loose. I guess she hasn't been turned loose in probably three and a half or four years, something like that. So what's Frogger out of? He's out of uh, Wipeout Spinal Tab, which uh, he's an old dog now. He's about 12. Kurt Seibert from Kaleido, Ohio there owns him. And he's out of a female my boy had, which she's still alive too. She's 12, off of Acres Little Joe. Oh, that's that Walker female just telling you about. He, yep. She's off of Acres okay. Little Joe. Yep. Spinal Tap, he was off of the, one of the greatest reproducers ever, old Zeb 3. Okay. And a female that Kurt Seibert used to own named Zoe, which was off of uh, Charlie Parsley's Rage and Bull, and a little dog called Seibert's Clover Ann. And uh, she was off a of stylish Clover. She'd have been a litter mate sister to Bodenberg's Fish. So that's just a little bit of background on this dog. And now I'll just share with you some of the hunts and some of my experience I've had with them. 
So far, it's been a lot of fun hunting this dog, and I look forward to hunting him this wintertime. Actually, last night I took him out, and it was during that snowstorm. Super cold. Um, he actually treed two dens, and the second den, he ran a really good track to it and treed and had a coon on the inside. So it's really impressive what he's been doing for me. Honestly, he hunts like an older dog, um, but it's really, really neat to see in this springtime. I really think he's going to be something special, and I really look forward to sharing more of the journey with you guys. So now here's your chance to see him in the woods. All right, it's another beautiful night out. Got Prophet with me. It's a clear night. It's about 55 degrees. Really, really nice. The weather's been great lately, so we'll get out of here and see what we can do. Turned them loose. Covered the woods pretty good. My cousin's hunting about a mile from here. His dog's doing kind of the same thing. We're thinking they moved early. There's not a lot on the ground right now. A lot of farmers out though. There's tractors in every field driving by here. But He's working a track 200 yards in there now. There he is. Search that tree over, it was a broke off den tree. So there could have been something in there, could have not been something in there. Those situations you don't know. <coughs> Trying to tree there, but doesn't sound like his typical, typical way he comes treed. Doesn't sound super sure. I'll let him settle in a little bit and then we'll go in there and see what he has. Well, he had one. He just did a sound normal, probably because it's laid up there for a while. Still a pup, still trying to work with confidence. But it's nice to see him work out a cold one and have a treat. Tuesday night, it's 71 degrees right now. Actually got up into the 80s last couple days during the day. Been very unseasonably warm. Haven't been moving very good, but I waited a little bit later. It's about 9.40 at night. Let it cool off a little bit, see if that helps them move a little bit more. So we'll get out here and see if we can get on one. Got him loose. He went in the woods about 20 yards, hooked left. Got on the edge like he usually does. Went about 450 yards. Went into the woods, hooked back. He's about 250 in front of me now in the woods. Just started opening.
ran something in a hole down there. I'm gonna get back, get him back. I don't encourage him to do this. You don't want him to put stuff in holes. Walked him a little bit further, recut him. He went about 100 yards to the edge of the woods and he opened a few times. Good job, buddy. Man, went 800 yards through a cornfield. Got one, not a hot one. Didn't say anything till he treed right on its tail. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good job. I think he found a hot one on the edge of this cornfield, cut him loose from about 100 yards. Just blew up, 47 degrees and raining. So we'll go in there and see what he has. Good job. Good job. Buddy. Yeah, good boy. Get him off of here and get him back out here and recut him. See if you can find another one. Good job, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You got him. He's about 150 yards in the swamp now. He just opened up about three times. Treat again. Good boy, bud. That's a good boy. Yeah, buddy. Good boy, bud. Yeah. All recut, 250. Got a good one. Good job, buddy. Pouring down rain, but he's got him. Hey everybody, tonight we're gonna be taking out new pup I'm hunting for Randy Smith. If uh, you've been on Patreon, you've already seen a lot on this dog. I've been hunting him for a couple months now. He is eight months old now. He's treated quite a bit of coon. Great looking, sounds great. He is out of Randy Smith's female world champion Lone Pine Biffy Sue, and out of uh, Birchall Davis's dog, uh, world champion Davis's Rosedale Frogger. So he's bred really, really good. Really good looking, smart dog. And here lately he's been a lot of fun to hunt. Coon have been moving pretty good for the most part and he's starting to trim off recuts now, which is nice to see, especially for a dog his age. But we'll get out of here and see what he can do. Got him cut loose, 
He's about 200 yards in there now, just ahead of me, right in the corner of the cornfield. Heard some coyotes going off in the distance. He opened up twice before I got the camera rolling, but he hasn't said anything since. He's out of the cornfield now and he's right in the edge of the woods. On the opposite end of the swamp, opening up. Banged around that swamp for a while, found the king tree. Rough night, but he sounds good. We'll go see what he has. That didn't take long. Must be a hot one. Didn't really have much track, just fell treed, so we'll go in there, see what he has. Good in here. First one was a little rough because he's in a nasty swamp. But he worked that track out, treated an old swamp coon, recut him, went quite a ways. This one must have been hot because this is a dead tree and it's just up at the top, as you can see. So we'll get out of here and go to another spot. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Get in there, buddy. Good boy. Back on the road, going to another woods. First section, he looked really good, so hopefully get in here and do something similar and end the night on a positive note with him. And we'll get here and see what we can do. Good boy. 
Good oh boy. Good boy, Prophet. Good boy. Good job, bud. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Well, tree three coon tonight. Not bad for it, but it's old. Gotta get out of here and go home. End the night on a high note. Well, we're gonna give it another go tonight. As you saw last time, he did a really good job last time out. Weather was similar. I'm checking right now, the weather, it is 45 degrees, clear, calm. So it should be another great night. We'll get out of here and see what he can do. Well, he's treed, done some walking already. He's ended up being about 900 yards away. So I cut down the distance and we're gonna go in there and see what he has. Well, covered this whole section. Covered this whole section. End up tree in one, so that's a good sign. We'll get out of here and go to another spot. Another gorgeous night. It is 67 degrees. Actually getting out at a good time tonight. It's 620 right now. They're shelling corn right behind the house, so I'm gonna drive a little bit, go to a different spot. Should be a good time, and we'll see what he can do tonight. Treed. Go in there and see what he has. Not really a lot of track in the night. They must not be moving well. There, that sounds better.
Good job, buddy. Did a great job. He covered a lot of ground. Obviously, there's nothing moving again. Really warm corn. There's not really any reason for him to move right now. <laughs> I think he found one. God, that's beautiful.